This is a seven English podcast, and you're listening to my house of horrors. Chapter 671 The most romantic thing I can think of, two in one. As Chinga raced up the stairs, many other things raced through his mind. The shadow and Dr. Gao were equally injured, and what kind of trap could the shadow set up in such a short amount of time? The shadow had no idea how much Chinga had, and if Chinga was given the chance to summon his red specters, then the chance of the shadow winning would drop. Even if he led Chingu into a trap, with the protection of a greater red specter, it might not be certain death for Chingu. Therefore, under such circumstances, the shadow might use another method to kill Chingu, like abandoning the aid of the ghosts and using something more direct like Li Zheng's gun. If Chingu was not cautious around Li Zheng, he would not have summoned any red specters to guard himself when Li Zheng wandered near. The shadow only needed to hide his evil intention to prevent detection from the red specter. Then, he only needed to unsheath pistol and pulled on the trigger lightly, and Chingo would be dead. Compared to creating a trap that might not be useful, this was the simplest and most efficient method. The shadow knew that the higher Chingo was, the more the power of the red specter would be suppressed. This black substance should come from an existence more powerful than a red specter, and it could greatly influence red specters. With such an advantage, the chance of the shadow's victory would drastically increase. Actually, everything followed his expected development, but the final result had somehow surprised him. Before he could take out Li Zheng's gun, Qin Ge had already seen through his real identity. Inside the darkened corridor, the blood fog drifted, echoing the cries of nearby children. The shadow stood several meters away from Qin Ge. His shape was slowly changing, and his height pulled upward until he morphed into someone who looked like Qin Ge. You don't seem like you're not ready to meet me yet. Shin Gu looked at the shadow, and a strange feeling overwhelmed him. It was like he was talking at a mirror in the middle of the night. You're mistaken. Since the moment you abandoned me, I knew this day will come, but I admit, it is slightly different from how I planned it. The shadow's voice was slowly changing, and he sounded more and more like Shin Gu. I thought that the next time we met, I would be the human, and you would be the shadow. Do you so desperately want me to be your shadow? Chingu stood where he was. The shadow could hold his own against Zhang Ya, so his power should be similar to that of a greater red specter. Even though he was currently heavily injured by Dr. Gao, it did not mean that Chingu could put his guard down. One without a shadow is not long for this world. I hope that you can be my shadow so that I can make you experience all the deaths that I've experienced in the past. The voice was changing until it mimicked Chingu's voice perfectly. You hate me so much, but what have I ever done to you? Chingu did not think that he suffered from amnesia, and in his memory, he had not done anything too over the top in his childhood. Looks like you have really forgotten everything, but it doesn't matter, I'll help you remember everything. Inside the door, outside the door, you and me, you inside the door, and finally me outside the door. With each word, the shadow's body grew taller. He was standing on the lower step but he had become taller than Chingu. You have not done anything to me. You live under the sunlight, surrounded by warmth, laughter, and hope. You have enjoyed everything that is good about life. However, the curses, mocking and deep resentment that others directed at you have all been transplanted onto me. All of my negative emotions are on you. Chinji's brow raised. Negative emotions is not enough to explain the abyss-like despair that I've slowly sunk into. I saw myself slowly falling, but I could not make any noise. My neck was strangled, and my body was cut into pieces. I couldn't open my lips, I couldn't breathe, I couldn't die even if I desperately wanted to. The shadow's voice was rising. Initially, I did not want to harm anyone. Even if I was entangled in endless curses, even as I floated in the sea of despair, even if I experienced a pain that you could never imagine, I never thought of hurting another individual. The shadow's body was expanding and contorting. The paintings on the wall seemed to come alive as well. The black figures inside the painting replayed their deaths again and again. Then, one day, my despairing self saw the door at your house. The shadow's words alerted Chingu immediately. He knew that there was a door inside the haunted house's toilet, but he had no idea who the door pusher was. Were you the one who pushed it open? When the curses dragged me into the depth of hell, the door was already there, 
but my despair was not strong enough to push open the door. It was only strong enough to let me hear the voice coming from behind the door. The suffocating presence that radiated off the shadow grew. There was someone calling your name from behind the door. You could not hear it, but I responded on your behalf. The shadow's slippery and sinister voice caused the hair on Chen Ji's neck to stand on end. And it was from that moment onward that I realized, why couldn't I be you? Why should I suffer in the darkness when you are bathing in the sun? I am your shadow, but that does not mean that I have to suffer the pain that should be yours. When he said the last word, an arm reached out from the spot where his heart should be and lunged toward Chen Gu. It was very sudden like everything that he had said so far was just a distraction to prepare for this ambush. The shadow had been injured in his battle with Dr. Gao. His shape was fading, but this arm that reached out from his chest was as real as they came. It appeared like the fingerprint underneath each finger had been carved out by blood vessels before. The woman from the tunnel moved to block in front of Chen Gu when the shadow made his move, but she had greatly underestimated the shadow's power. The arm poked through her body directly. It carried her blood and gripped at Chen Gu. It's time! The comic inside his backpack gave off a soft voice, and a page of comic withered upon itself instantly. But at that moment, the black arm stopped for a second. The woman whose body was punctured wailed. She had died from a car accident, and her body had already been ruined at her time of death. She used both of her hands to grip the arm that poked through her body. The woman ignored the arm and allowed it to dangle inside her body. She hung onto the shadow's body and started to attack the shadow madly. The woman from the tunnel was different from other red specters. Under her dress, it was a ruined body. The flesh was falling apart, and the bones were shattered. Furthermore, her special power seemed to be related to these broken bones. The blood-red bone chips stuck into the shadow's body. The woman's body started to shift, and it felt like she was trying to use her body to consume the shadow. Just now, my attack slowed down for a moment. What kind of ghost gave you that power? The shadow turned to glance at Chenggu. Just how many specters are you carrying? Why don't you have a guess? Chenggu wanted to get to the bottom of the door inside the haunted house, so he did not retaliate against the shadow. Yan Danian and the woman in the tunnel had bought valuable time for Chenggu. He moved backward calling Zhang Ye's name in his heart. Even facing certain death, you are able to smile. Everything that you are able to do now is because of me. The shadow's voice turned icier. His body was slowly distorting under the relentless attack from the woman, but he did not seem to mind it even a bit. All he showed was a pointed hatred toward Chen Gu. This place has already been ruined, so there is no need to keep it around anymore. The children that have been transported to the ghost fetus should be enough to help him perform a successful birth. The black paintings on the wall started to change. All the little black figures that suffered from endless deaths in the paintings started to crawl out, and they melted into the shadow's body. All the children inside the building released this strange laughter. They could no longer be viewed as innocent children, they had become nothing more than the shadow's puppets. The children inside this building are all sacrifices for the ghost fetus? Just how many people you have buried in eastern Jiujiang? The door behind Chen Gu had the biggest change. The black human shape that looked just like him was slowly turning lighter as incapacitated black figures, possessed by hatred and resentment, crawled out of the door one after another. Each of them carried two faces. One was their own face, and the other looked 90% like Chen Gu. This was indeed a scary scene, but the shadow seemed to enjoy this process a lot. The ghost fetus resentment is too deep, and there is no way that he can be born via a normal method. So, I have to use these children to share and dispense part of his resentment. Now you know the truth, yes? So many children, and they were barely enough to exhaust a part of the ghost fetus resentment. You can imagine how much pain I have had to suffer because of you. Innocent smiles were missing from the children's faces. Their facial expressions were dull and strange. There was a hatred toward life that could be seen in them. Even for Chen Gu, this felt totally scary. If no one did anything, any of these children could have led to the formation of a new ghost fetus, and that was probably the most desired outcome for the shadow. As the small black figures entered his body, the shadow's body started to solidify again. The dark curse coursed through the surface of his body, 
forcing out the bone chips that the woman from the tunnel had pushed into his body earlier. A normal red specter was unwilling to go near the curse. When the little black figure showed up, the woman from the tunnel had contorted her body and quickly escaped from the shadow's side. The reason I've not reached out to you is because I've been biding my time until the day when I can make you into my shadow, but you voluntarily appeared to disturb my plan. Children's faces appeared on the shadow's body. All of the children had already lost the thing that made them human, and they all carried strange smiles. A person without a shadow is not complete, and I will make you my shadow. When the shadow was ready to make his first actual attack, a loud crash came from outside the building. Looking out the window, a group of chains was crazily whipping the exterior of the building. It was you who led that damnable man-man here, right? The shadow seemed to be a bit powerless before Dr. Gao. I've only come up with the solution to detain the red specter that you have, but I am surprised you managed to find the second greater red specter. However, even with their help, you are unable to change the result, unless you can find a third greater red specter. Chingu heard a discrepancy in the shadow's words. He tried to call Zhang Ye, but to his despair, at this most crucial moment, Zhang Ye did not seem to give him any response. I know that Red Spectre is living inside your shadow, but don't you forget, I am your real shadow. The blood fog parted, and the whole building echoed with the shadow's maddened laugh. Using the weak light from the blood moon, Chen Gu saw that the shadow's feet had connected to his own. As the little black figures melted into the shadow, the connection between the shadow and Chen Gu grew. When you were small, your parents should have warned you away from Eastern Jiujian, right? The shadow's voice was bubbling with venom and excitement. They were worried that I would return to your body. My plan is flawless, so how could I lose? The ghost fetus will be born, and I, the lingering spirit, will revert to your shadow. I will slowly consume your mind and body. I will make you experience all the despair, all the deaths, all the pain that should be yours. I am the demon that you are unable to shake off. I am the past that you can never escape. I am you. The whole building could hear the shadow's voice clearly. He had been waiting for this day for a very long time already. I will give you my memory and turn you into me, and then you'll be fed to the ghost fetus to be his shadow. Everything is perfect. Even though there were some accidents, the result has already been decided from the beginning. Chen Gu called Zhang Ye's name madly, but there appeared to be something blocking their communication, and Zhang Ye was unable to hear his voice. It's pointless. I am your shadow. The only way she can escape from your shadow is if she takes my place and turns into your new shadow. The shadow was cackling madly. Then again, the goal that he had been planning for years was about to come into fruition, so how could he not be mad with joy? The ink black hands gripped Shinji's neck, and the shadow looked down into his eyes. I've taken on the shapes of so many people, but today, I am finally able to turn back into myself. His face red due to a lack of oxygen, Chin Gu was lifted off the ground, and he was unable to make any noise. At the last moment, a man whose heart was dyed red materialized next to Chin Gu. He hugged the shadow's arm and tried to pull back, but he was barely able to stop the shadow from lifting his arm. A white cat leaped into the air to gnaw at the shadow's face, but it phased through the shadow's body and landed heavily on the ground. Without summoning them and unable to make any noise, many shadows escaped from Chinji's backpack. The shadow's arms were weighed down by multiple limbs, but that did nothing to change the outcome. Bang! 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 The sound of the chains whipping the building became clearer like something was luring the chains to head upstairs. Then, the window on the top floor was pushed open, and a red flash charged toward the shadow. The tapered fingers pierced into the shadow's body. The red specter gripped the shadow's arm and the usual melancholy on his face had disappeared. In its place was anxiety and deep anger. You have another red specter? The shadow hissed resentfully. For some reason, his hatred for Chingu grew. He wished to destroy this man and everything that this man had ever cared about. The black curse coursed into the red specter's body. Black veins started to appear on his bleeding shirt. The curse drilled into his body like worms and they bit at his face and his heart madly. So painful! Gritting his teeth, the blood that leaked out was black, but he showed no trace of backing off. Disgusting! 
You people disgust me. The shadow yelled loudly, and more curses, filling up the room, surged into the red specter's body. The blood capillaries exploded, and the body was failing as the endless curse ravaged the red specter's body. So painful! So painful! So F asterisk king painful! Su Yin's face was distorted from pain. His body was practically disintegrating, but the empty space near his heart was slowly turning red. Without any visible reason, under the duress from the shadow's endless curse, Su Yin still had not taken a step back. Bang! The chains reached in through the open window, and they lashed at Su Yin like sharks sensing the blood. Dr. Gao had arrived, and his target was the flyer that Su Yin was holding. Covered in curses, the chains that were thick with the scent of blood lashed at Su Yin, but similar to before, Su Yin showed no sign of evading. If he was hit by the chains, the shadow next to him would be injured as well. Damn you! To avoid the hit by Dr. Gao, the shadow had no choice but to temporarily let go. Chingu dropped to the ground, and Bai Chulin immediately moved to carry his body and grab the backpack. He knocked open the door and ran out to the roof. You can't escape. I have planned this for too long. There is no escape for you. The shadow quickly moved to give chase. The employees from the haunted house were slammed back, and only Su Yin was hanging by a thread, but he was unable to stop the shadow alone. John Ya, can you hear my voice? The shadow was under Chen Ji's feet, and he blocked Chen Ji's voice. It's useless. At the fresh water plant, I noticed this. This is your fatal flaw. The shadow gripped Su Yin's head and slammed it heavily on the ground. He dragged the man's broken body as he stepped toward Chen Gu. Fatal flaw, you say? Chen Gu paused for a moment like he was considering many things in his mind. He slowly reached his hand into his backpack. Actually, I've been wondering how I should face her. I have no idea what kind of place she possesses in my heart, but I think I understand it now. Chen Gu picked out the treasured love letter from his backpack and then came the lighter. He set the letter on fire. I don't need this thing to use as an excuse anymore. The fire caught on easily, and Chen Ji's shadow was boiling. It felt like a black tsunami was coming. What are you doing? The shadow's face dropped. His body had started to fade. You really wish for that specter to become your shadow? Standing up, Chen Gu tossed the ash that remained of the love letter into the wind. Zhang Ye, stay with me forever. I do not believe that there is anything more romantic in this world than shadowing each other for life. Bang! A pale arm pierced through Chen Ji's shadow, and following it was the outpouring of a deep and black ocean. The windows, starting from the top of the building, shattered layer after layer. Under the shine of the blood moon, a girl leaned against Chen Ji's back gently. Zhang Ye! My House of Horrors Chapter 672 This is the Ghost Stories Society After one died, one's lingering spirit would only be preserved by attaching oneself to an object, and the object that Zhang Ye possessed was her cursed love letter. Chen Gu burnt the love letter on the roof because he intended to completely abolish Zhang Ye's painful past. He had found a new vessel for Zhang Ye. Like shadow and light, one impossible without the other, from the moment he burned that love letter, he would be Zhang Ye's object of obsession. The black hair rushed forward like a black ocean, ravaging and consuming, swallowing everything inside the building. The shadow, who clutched Su Yin's neck, was stunned. His legs that were joined to Chen Gu were roughly torn away. The pieces of curses wilted in the bloody night like dark snow. You'll have the specter be your shadow? A bottled up anger in the shadow's heart exploded, and his body kept changing and shifting. This should not have happened. This is different from what I planned. Throughout Ming Yang residence, the four buildings were bombarded with the ear-splitting cries of children. Many short little figures crawled out from the windows, all moving toward a particular room inside the building that Chen Gu and the shadow were standing on. Soon, inside the building situated on the western side, a slender shadow moved out from the room, dragging a snow-white arm with him. That arm belonged to Xiao Bu. It stood by the edge of the building and bit into the arm with its mouth, and something that caused Chen Ji's hair to rise happened. Endless black shadows started to tear down the arm. With each bite, a dark bite mark would appear on the arm, and with each bite mark, the shadow grew that much stronger. You are my shadow! I will make you my shadow! 
Ming Yang residence was placed outside of Liwan City, but the blood fog from Liwan City had been moved there. It rushed toward Ming Yang residence like a palpable wave. Not enough, this is not enough. The shadow turned to look at other buildings, but what he saw once again brought him disappointment. On top of the southern building, a strange man with a strange smile fixed on his face carried Xiao Bu's broken body to the roof. His body was cracked, and the open gashes were like mouths that were open up in smiles. Inside the northern building, it seemed to be raining blood. A mad woman wearing a red raincoat, whose lips were sewn shut, was cutting down all the shadows while protecting Xiao Bu's body part. Boss! Underneath them came Oel Zhou's voice. The shadow and Shingu both turned to look at the same time. Xiao Bu's limbs and head were the key for the shadow to control Li Wan City. To control the door that had gone out of control, to make Xiao Bu into a puppet that he could easily control, he had poured a lot of effort onto Xiao Bu, but now, everything was being ruined by Chingu. The shadow only had access to one of Xiao Bu's arms. His control of Li Wan City was far weaker than Xiao Bu's control over it. Why do you want to help this person? He lives under the sun, bathes in hope, surrounded by laughter, but I am the one who inherits all of his hatred and curses. Unable to move the blood fog from Liwan City any further, the small shadow surged back into the shadow's body. He glared at Chengge, his eyes filled with venom. Chengge did not answer the shadow's interrogation. His fingers caressed the black hair that flowed through him. I've never bathed in hope and lived under the sun, much less being surrounded by laughter. I am merely lucky to have found a group of kind-hearted people. The black hair blocked Cheng Ji's sight. The brightest red walked past Cheng The slender fingers reached out to pick out the black snow that almost fell on his body. The fingers tightened, and the curse of the shadow turned into ash before it could even wail in mercy. Zhang Ye stood before Cheng and titled her head to look at Su Yin, whose neck was in the shadow's grasp. You wish to save him? The shadow grabbed Su Yin's head with one hand. Before he could say the second sentence, his head was grabbed by a pale arm. Without any hesitation, the black hair rushed forward like a wave. Zhang Yu gripped the shadow's head and slammed it into the ground. Bang! A hole opened up in the ground, and they fell through a whole floor, but that was just the beginning. Unable to control the blood fog from Liwan City, unable to use the power behind the door, and having just fought a heavy battle with Dr. Gao, the shadow was the weakest that he had ever been. He did not expect Zhang Ye to suddenly make her move, and he did not expect that in several days, this red specter had become even scarier. When Zhang Ye fought the shadow, Qin Ge found Su Yin whose body was almost torn apart at the edge of the roof. You! As if knowing that he had placed his boss life in good hands, the static that came from the recorder gradually weakened. His hand that placed over his chest slowly slid away, revealing the heart that had completely died red. The grimace on the man's face slowly smoothed out. Suin looked at Chingu, and the corner of his lips twitched like he wanted to make an expression that he had not made before. However, he failed even after multiple attempts and reverted to his usual expression. It's fine now. Chingu picked Suin up from the floor. The static disappeared, and the blood red tape stopped moving. The heavily injured Su Yin had returned to the recorder. Was he trying to make a smile earlier? Chin Gu stood up and accepted the backpack from Bai Chiu The comic, recorder, ballpoint pen, and doll were all inside. Everyone is still with us. I suppose that is already lucky enough. The building under his feet was shaking. Other than Zhang Ye's black hair and the snow that was formed from the shadow's curse, there were shackles carved with human faces that snaked through the building. Echoes of screams boomed in his ears. Chingu looked over the side of the roof. Dr. Gao, who was on all fours, climbed up the side of the building like a beast. His bloody red eyes stared directly at Chingu. I've found you, Chingu. As Dr. Gao approached, a pale hand appeared to stand before Chingu. Compared to the shadow, Dr. Gao posed a bigger threat to Zhangya. The red fluttered in the moon. Zhangya at her prime was like a blood red sun, while Dr. Gao, who carried all the curses in Liwan City, looked more like an abyss. Endless negative emotions and curses coursed through his body. He alone represented the endless abyss of despair. Mad doctor, why don't you work with me? I know you wish to get something from that man. 
I can gift him to you and even tell you all the secrets about him. The shadow's life was much hardier than they had expected. He was like an unkillable monster who would only weaken but never really disappear. Dr. Gao did not answer the shadow. His status was very strange. He looked like he was merely operating based on the little memory that remained in his mind. Chingu did not know what he wanted to do, but he knew that if he did not do anything, Zhangya might be attacked by both Dr. Gao and the Shadow. A chaotic battle was about to ensue. Chingu summoned Suyin to have him return the Ghost Stories Society's flyer. On that familiar flyer, the door that represented Ghost Stories Society had been pushed open, and a pale hand was reaching out from within. Having met in person, Chingu recognized the arm as Dr. Gao's. He had laid some kind of trap on all the flyers, but his plan was misdirected somehow. Apparently, a link in his plan had fallen through. Holding the flyer, Chingu stood behind Zhang Ye and told Dr. Gao, You have forgotten too many things. I will help you remember them. You were once the chairperson of the Ghost Stories Society, and I am the member that you handpicked to join. This flyer is the best evidence of that. The mention of Ghost Stories Society caused a flicker through Dr. Gao's bloodshot eyes. Don't listen to him. Follow your heart. The shadow yelled in panic. He did not dare to imagine being attacked by both Zhang Ye and Dr. Gao. Yes, you have to follow your heart. Chinga raised the flyer up high. Before you passed away, you handed the Ghost Stories Society to me. I am your most trusted friend, and that is why you remember my name. Yes, I am Chingge. I am the current chairperson of the Ghost Stories Society, Chingge. And behind me, these specters and red specters that stood at my side, they are now everything that the Ghost Stories Society represents. My House of Horrors. Chapter 673, Ghost Fetus. Chingge did not lie. Everything that he had said was truthful, and even a micro-expression expert would not be able to find any problem with his statement. Currently, I am the only living member of the Ghost Stories Society. I am the whole society's only hope. I don't know why you're searching for me, but I know that you must have something important to tell me. Taking a step forward, Chingu raised the flyer above his head. Liwan City has taken one-third of the society's hidden treasure. Closing the door that has gone out of the control was your dying wish. Today, I am here despite of the dangers and threats to my life because I plan to reclaim what should belong to the Ghost Stories Society. The Shadow was a master at manipulation. When he heard what Chingu said, he felt increasingly unsettled. The man did not seem like he was lying, and he had arrived here to help lead the way for the doctor. You too. Chingu did not give the Shadow that chance to speak. He spoke over him as he stared into Dr. Gao's eyes. Remember the words that you once told me. Think of the promise that we made. Think about your daughter. She is still waiting for you to come home. A human being was a very unique life form. Even if he was carrying all the negative emotions behind a door, even if he was consumed by the curses of the whole town, even if he had transformed into a walking abyss, there was still a human emotion lying within Dr. Gao that perhaps the man himself did not realize, and that was his memory of Gao Ru Shui. The red eyes slowly moved, and Dr. Gao stared at the shadow who stood at the other side of the roof. The blood-red coat fluttered in the wind, and black blood dripped down the side of the building. Chingu had no idea what had happened to Dr. Gao behind the door, and he was confused because the wife who always accompanied him had disappeared. However, there was one thing that he was clear about. Dr. Gao seemed to have lost his rationality after consuming too many specters and red specters. Losing his memory, he could only act on instinct, and there were probably two reasons why he remembered Chingu. One, before the doctor perished, he had left many dying wishes with Chingu, including closing the door in Liwan City and taking care of his daughter, Gao Ru Shui. Two, it was probably because Dr. Gao had made his plan surrounding Chingu, and he had even come up with the plans after death. Everything was related to Chingu and his haunted house. It was why he could remember Chingu so clearly. The man could have gone insane due to multiple reasons, and it was incredibly difficult to fully cure a maddened man because the first adversary that he needed to face was himself. Chingu realized that, and it was why he had stepped forward then. He knew that Dr. Gao would not recover with just a few of his words, and he did not expect Dr. Gao to stop attacking him. 
He merely wanted to shift the attention that Dr. Gao had on him onto the shadow. After taking down this element of uncertainty in the shadow, everything else could be settled later. Dr. Gao, even though you have lost your memory, even though you have transformed into a red specter, in my heart, you will always be the chairperson. It was you who showed me what a real ghost story was, and it was you who made me understood the true meaning of a ghost story society. So stop hesitating. The door in Li Wan's city once belonged to the society, and it will return to the society in the future. The chains carved with human faces reached out from the building and slithered up the walls. Their target was the shadow. The shadow did not expect Shingu to really convince a maddened red specter, but he soon discovered that something worse was awaiting him. When the chains slithered toward the shadow, the black hair blocked his way like an impenetrable wall. Zhanya had launched her attack at the same time. He is not a red specter, but he is much more resilient than a red specter. We better surround him and figure out a way to completely abolish him. A man-man and a man who is not much better than a man man these were the former and current chairperson of the Ghost Stories Society. It had to be said that Dr. Gao did have a good eye in choosing his successor. I am your shadow. If you want to kill me, it's easy, die. The shadow was very weak, but he did not show any trace of resignation, like showing any form of weakness in front of Chen Gu was something shameful. From the moment I burned the love letter, you were no longer my shadow. I don't know whether I can kill you or not, but I hope you can be quiet and enjoy the ghost story that I've specially made for you. Consider it the last parting gift from me. Chen Gu retreated. The shadow under his feet connected to Zhang Ye while the shadow stood alone at the other side of the roof. A gift? An ugly laugh rumbled out of the shadow. The first gift that I've ever received in my life is a ghost story? That laughter was mixed with the cries of endless children. They cried during each death until they became dull to the sensation of death, until they could find joy in being killed. I will kill you. I cannot wait until the birth of the ghost fetus anymore. After he said that, the shadow's body solidified. The face slowly turned clearer as the facial features took on a realistic shape like someone surfacing out of the water. The shadow had turned into a second Chingu. I am you, and you are me. He plunged his hands into his body, and the curse coursed through his fingers. Patches of scars appeared on his body, and they moved to form unique symbols. Soon, all the symbols gathered around the shadow's heart to form the shape of a baby. However, this baby was different from a normal child. Its heart was beating, and with each pulse, it radiated endless resentment. Looking at it was like looking at the devil picture painted on the door at the haunted house's toilet. The ghost fetus. The baby extended its limbs, and the shadow's body was torn apart. Four thin, spindly limbs reached out from the shadow's body. Its expression mirrored that of the baby, a kind of hatred toward everything that existed in the world. The chains carved with human faces lashed at the shadow. The latter grimaced as more limbs crawled out of his back. They pierced through his body, and the black liquid that represented the curse spurted out from his body. In an instant, the roof was covered in a black rain. I remember every single pang of despair that I've experienced, and each death only made me stronger. You said that you want to kill me, so I wish you luck because even I don't know how to kill myself. The shadow's face cracked like a shattered mask. Cracks appeared as blood veins crawled out from the baby inside his chest to suck into the shadow's body. The baby was growing, it was literally consuming the shadow to accelerate its growth. I am the existence closest to death. I enjoy death and I shall invite all of you to taste death with me. The shadow's face fell off in pieces. The baby by his chest suddenly opened its eyes, and the venomous gaze was a complete replica of that of the shadows. Don't give him the chance, pull the baby away from his body! Chinga screamed in command. As he spoke, Dr. Gao was already charging forward. His expression was demented like an addict in the presence of a drug. He seemed to sense something more powerful than a red specter in the shadow. My House of Horrors Chapter 674 Scary Dr. Gao Dr. Gao opened both of his arms. Under the blood moon, he appeared even more deranged. Chains crawled out from underneath his coat. They were his means of attack, but at the same time, they were his tool of binding. No one knew what had happened to Dr. Gao. He seemed to have bound the chains around himself, 
when he was still conscious. These chains represented despair and negative emotions, and they also represented the human beings and specters that had died at his hand. The chains bound everyone that he killed, but they also bound the man himself. As more chains oozed out of his body, Dr. Gao seemed to have unlocked layers of a seal. An extremely dangerous aura radiated out from the man. The black blood dripped to the ground, mixed with the curse, and transformed into trails of blood vessels. One end was curled around Dr. Gao's feet, and the other end connected to this world behind the door. The blood-dyed coat fluttered in the wind, and a strange voice echoed from inside Dr. Gao's body. Such a delicious smile, I wish to shove him inside my body. Eat him. Eat him. Eat him. It sounded like the voice of a woman. A different face grew on Dr. Gao's body. Her facial features were not where they supposed to be, but her eyes were filled with gluttony. Shut up! Hearing the woman's voice, Dr. Gao poked his hands harshly into his body. Blood burst, and it flowed down the chains. Food that I've not tasted before, this is something I've not tasted before. It's not you, it's me. Eat him. Many distinct voices came out from Dr. Gao's body. Chin Gu now saw that many faces grew on Dr. Gao's body, and they seemed to have grown into his body. Shut up. I'll have all of you shut up. Blood flowed. Starting from the inside, Dr. Gao's white coat was dyed red once more. His body also started to collapse due to his self-mutilating attacks. Dr. Gao, who had calmed down slightly after meeting Chin Gu, ran into a berserk again. The chains on his body seemed to have the purpose of binding the faces. As the chains fell away, the faces used his body to voice their own desires. Even with the wound, the woman ignored the scar and continued to laugh madly. Actually, Chin Gu had seen this face before. He had once seen her face in the room filled with the pictures of the Ghost Stories Society's victims. She was one of the people killed by the society. Under the influence of negative emotions, she had become a part of something that Dr. Gao had to bear. Different voices came out from underneath Dr. Gao's blood coat. Chin Gu could not imagine how Dr. Gao would have looked under his coat. He watched from afar as Dr. Gao mutilated his own body with his bare hands, but it did not seem to amount to anything. Instigated, scolded, and cursed by the different voices, Dr. Gao slowly stopped. The expression on his face gradually shifted to match the faces on his body. His lips tore open widely. One of his eyes was leaking tears, the other was leaking blood, and he laughed madly as he charged toward the shadow. He attacked indiscriminately. If Zhang Ye's black hair blocked his way, he would also tear it down. Confinement, transmutation, and suppression, a specter with three special properties. The shadow used his own body as nutrients to feed the ghost fetus. The baby would continue to grow until he reached the breaking point where the shadow's body would crumble. Li Wan City and the ghost apartment are shielding the ghost fetus secret. If I can't reclaim this place, I'll have to ruin this place. Without hiding or retreating, the shadow bent his legs and shot at Dr. Gao. The shadow's face was blurring while the baby's face was becoming clearer. Chen Gu, who stood afar, used his yin yang vision and imprinted the child's face in his mind. Without any preamble, as Dr. Gao came into contact with the shadow, the battle reached its height. The word horrifying was not enough to describe the battle. Neither of them seemed to know the meaning of defense. They attacked endlessly. The curse morphed into a spear to pierce into Dr. Gao's body. The human faces were poked through as wails and laughter echoed out from Dr. Gao's body. The chains rattled, resisting the curse. Dr. Gao, who held nothing back, had blood burst out of his body like liquid fireworks. He attacked like he was going to die, and with a determination toward death, he grabbed hold of the shadow. The blood around him materialized into a chain and bound the shadow's body. The floor of the roof was a pool of blood. Chains crawled out from the pool and they lunged at the shadow like hungry pythons. Hundreds of chains surged into the shadow's body. They punctured him through, immobilizing him on the roof. I wonder, what does a specter more powerful than a red specter taste like? With a creepy smile on his face, Dr. Gao took a bite out of the shadow. His mouth was dripping with curses. Dr. Gao had lost his mind. This red specter wished to consume the curse bite by bite. The chains represent confinement, 
The body carries the power of suppression, and you have the ability to transmute. You are indeed very powerful. The baby's lips were moving. The chains burned with the curse. The shadow's body was dissolving, and he slipped away from Dr. Gao's trap. Dr. Gao had not unleashed all of his chains. His true power caused the shadow caution, and he would forever remember the term Ghost Stories Society. His weakness is the baby inside his chest. All the curses are protecting that baby. Those at the side saw things more clearly. Chen Gu was the one who retained his rationality the most, and he saw through the shadow's weakness instantly. You again? When they were battling, the shadow had already moved closer to Chen Gu. His hatred toward Chen Gu was immeasurable. The chains wrapped around the shadow, but the same trick would not work twice. He used the layers of curse to protect the baby in his chest, abandoning most of his defense as he moved toward Chen Gu. He wanted to get close to Chen Gu to kill this human that he hated the most in the world. He did not want to have Chen Gu in his sight again. He hated everything about the man, and the desire to destroy clouded his mind. I've never harmed you, and I don't know what happened to you. If there's a chance, I hope we can sit down and talk calmly, but unfortunately, both of us know how dangerous the other is. Chen Gu stood where he was. Bai Chiolin and the woman from the tunnel guarded beside him as Chen Gu carefully stood the shadow's moving pattern. This kind of quick advance while at the same time avoiding the lethal attacks was worth studying by Chen Gu. They had the same physiology, but the shadow's mastery of his physique was much better than Chen Gu. Chen Gu had been relying on the hammer and brute force, but after this learning experience, he realized the limitation to pure force. He needed to learn more techniques so that he could escape easier in the future to not create a burden for others. With the shadow posing such a big threat, Chen Gu still had the ease to learn the shadow's technique. It was not because Chen Gu had gained an enlightened view on life but because Zhang Ya was by his side. It is still Zhang Ya who is more reliable. They are all red specters, but compared to Dr. Gao and the shadow, Zhang Ya is likely the most normal of them all. Her fingers tightened and black stripes slowly surfaced on Zhang Ya's arm. The deathly white skin, the blood-red dress, and the strange black stripes. Zhang Ya, who always wore an expressionless face, turned to the shadow and suddenly smiled. This was a particularly meaningful day for her. As a witness to the glorious declaration that Qing Gu had made, Zhang Ya wished to turn the shadow into a doll as a keepsake. She imagined doing the same during their wedding. She would turn all the guests into dolls, and that way, the happiness of that day would be forever preserved. My House of Horrors Chapter 675 Zhang Ya's Special Power When Zhang Ya had not showed up, the shadow had only felt hatred toward Cheng Gu, but after Zhang Ya showed up, the shadow's hatred of Cheng Gu deepened. Initially, he only wanted to turn Cheng Gu into his own shadow, but now, he only wanted to murder this man. A lingering spirit cannot leave its object of possession, a baleful specter can move independently of it for a while, and a red specter can leave the possessed object for a long time and even find a new object to possess. That currently is the method I use to differentiate between the different types of specters. Chen Gu looked at the approaching shadow. But this method is not that useful for specters above the level of red specter. Dr. Gao said that he sensed something beyond a red specter in the shadow. So what is the difference between something like that and a red specter? The power difference between them should be bigger than the power difference between a red specter and normal specter. It was simple to differentiate a red specter and normal specter. The red article of clothing was a clear sign. But what was the difference between a red specter and something beyond a red specter? The shadow can only be considered a greater red specter. After the ghost fetus is born, it will become a real existence above a red specter. Chen Gu noticed some problems on the shadow. The baby in the shadow's chest is ingesting his body, and he's using his self to nurture the baby in exchange for power beyond the level that he should have. While that baby looks normal, it gives me a very bad feeling. Looking at it gives me a similar feeling to when I look at the picture of the specter on the door inside my haunted house. When Dr. Gao was about to be exposed, he had thrown caution into the wind and made a live sacrifice out of several individuals. He had gouged out their eyes and left a painting of a specter on the door in Shinji's haunted house. That specter might be something more powerful than a red specter. Thinking back, there were many things worth investigating about the Ghost Stories Society. For example, 
that box with the black blood stain. After all, the reason Zhang Ye could grow so quickly probably had a lot to do with the black blood that she had stolen from the society member. That black blood was different from the black blood that dripped out of Dr. Gao's body, which was colored by curses. It was a pure blackness. Even when it was kept inside the box, one could feel the immense resentment that it was harboring. Dr. Gao wouldn't be planning to lure a monster like that to the door at the haunted house, right? Chin Gu could not guess the goal of the specter. The only one who knew the truth, the one who set up the trap, had turned mad, and Chin Gu really had no idea whether this was a good thing or not. If that is really his plan, there's nothing I can do but increase the number of employees that I have and train them to become stronger. As long as Zhang Ye can break through, then most problems can be solved. However, the distance between a red specter and the presence above it is huge. Even the shadow took 10 years to affect the transformation. It feels like something is still lacking for Zhang Ye to make this evolution. Zhang Ye's power had grown to an impossible level. For once, her power level was similar to the woman in the well at Coffin Village, but now, she could probably easily take down the well woman. Zhang Ye should be hiding some secrets as well. I've been treating her kindly, but I realize that I don't really know her that well. A heavy battering sound drew Chin Gu back to the reality. Black blood that carried the curse splashed around, and a seam of black hair wrapped itself around Chin Gu. Binding, gluttony, hard connectivity, pain, sharpness. How do you have so many special properties? Under the protection of Zhang Ye's black hair, Chin Gu heard the shadow's voice. Did he mention the term sharpness? Gluttony was the special property of the woman at the hotel. Zhang Ye had consumed her heart, so it was understandable for her to possess that power. Binding was probably Zhang Ye's own special property, and that was quite a perfect match. After all, she had been using her black hair to bind her enemies. Zhang Ye had consumed the twin children of the devil from the society, and that was probably where she had obtained the special property of heart connectivity. That explained why Zhang Ye could hear the voices in Chen Ji's heart. She had probably connected her heart to Chen Gu way back then. But the remaining two special properties confused Chen Gu. Pain sounded like it should be related to Su Yin, and Su Yin had just broken through to become a real red specter. Su Yin himself probably had not understood how to use this special property, so why would Zhang Ye possess it herself? Sharpness belonged to the headless woman who was Xiao Bu's neighbor. She had died under the cuts of many knives, and the intensity of that memory had caused her blood to possess the sharpness quality. To ensure that Zhang Ye had not quietly consumed the headless woman, Qin Ge opened the comic to peer into it. The headless woman was still there, her body did not fade away, but she did look a lot more obedient. The headless woman is a red specter I plan to have join the haunted house, and Su Yin is already an employee who listens to my command. Does this mean that Zhang Ye can absorb the special properties of other red specters through me? Qin Ji's mouth widened, he did not think that was even possible. The special property that the shadow mentioned should be the special power detailed by the black phone. Since the shadow can see through the special property of all red specters, does this mean that his special property is something like observation? This was the first time that Chin Gu heard the term special property, but he believed that the shadow had gotten it wrong this time. Zhang Ye would not possess so many special properties. It was simply that other than the binding power that she already had, she possessed a different power that was deep buried inside her. Zhang Ye possessed her own special page in the black phone. Chin Gu thought that was something common to all Red Spectre, but even after Su Yin became a Red Spectre, that did not happen for him. Even if Su Yin had become a Red Spectre, he merely occupied a line on the list of employees, but his name had turned red. Lingering spirits do not have any special powers. A small portion of baleful specters have special powers, and those are like lucky draws. However, all red specters possess a special power. A red specter might possess different number of special powers, and the more special powers that they possess, the stronger they'll be. Based on this logic, what kind of power will an existence above red specter possess? Chingu tried to predict this, and in reality, he was also trying to figure out how to evolve his employees to that stage. The time limitation for the four-star mission, School of Afterlife, was almost up. Liwan City, a 3.5-star mission, already gave him such a hard time. If he really challenged a four-star scenario, he might die. 
Even though a 3.5-star scenario does not contain an existence above a red specter, one can notice their traces. Based on this logic, a 4-star scenario should contain the presence of something stronger than a red specter. Chingu took a deep breath. The city that he resided in had plenty of ghost stories, but even in such a unique city, there were only three known 4-star scenarios. In other words, the city might be home to three presences stronger than a red specter. They were the deepest secret hidden by the city. They represented the darker side of the city. This is a 7 English podcast, and you're listening to my house of horrors. Chapter 676. Scenario cleared. 2 in 1. When Chen Gu spent time thinking, the situation of the battle had changed tremendously. The commotion grew louder and louder. The shadows started to show lethargy while being attacked by both Zhang Ya and Dr. Gao. The body which was made from curses, had no shape and no form. Being touched by normal specters would not harm the shadow. In fact, the contact would cause great injury to the specters themselves. With that alone, the shadow could have taken down any red specter, but unfortunately, he ran into Dr. Gao and Zhang Ya. These two greater red specters could take on a large number of curses. It was one thing for them to be immensely powerful. Their special power seemed to be a natural weakness for the shadow. Dr. Gao's confinement and Zhang Ye's binding proved advantageous when dealing with the shadow. They blocked off his escape, and that cornered him into fighting back against the two. The battle between red specters was extremely horrifying. Tearing down the other party's resentment to feed themselves, this was a scene that a normal human being would have trouble imagining. However, it was something that could not have been more common for specters. The shadow was covered in curses but the two greater red specters did not care about that. The many things that Dr. Gao was bearing had pushed the man over the brink of insanity. While Zhang Ye looked normal, after the battle, the shadow realized that this woman's madness was no less than the two chairpersons of the Ghost Stories Society. The dark black body was shattered again and again. Black blood leaked out from the baby's face. Everyone present could hear a strange voice. It felt like the blood-red sky above them was crying, or perhaps it was this land that was corrupted by nightmares weeping. Tears and laughter, they saw a child holding a knife standing in an alley slowly being flooded by the heavy rain. The neck was embraced by a rope. The head was pressed into the bed. Tears mixed together with rain. The child screamed and cried for help. He cried and cried until the corners of his lips turned up into a smile. Submerged into the inky way, burned in the fire, sharp knife cuts and fleshless body and buried inside a ready hole. Unable to breathe, unable to feel the sun on his face, all that he could reach with his hand were the many different ugly scars. Why do you want to kill me? What have I done wrong? The shadow's body was dissipating. The remaining curses transformed into blood capillaries and poked into the baby's heart. Shape and form gradually etched onto the baby's previously featureless face. The soft bones were squeezed into strange shapes while the body filled up with curses and resentment. The baby opened its eyes, staring at Shingu, who was shielded by black hair. The heart in its chest beat, and the sky started to rain blood. Shinji's image was burned into the baby's retina as the baby's heart beat heavily. Gasping greedily for air, the baby was looking less and less like a monster made from curses and more like a living human being. It had possessed its own baby but the internal organs were still beating to their own rhythm. Its body felt like it was about to collapse from within, but under such circumstances, its lips still moved into the smile. The eyes turned more and more unrecognizable, replacing the original cunning and defeat with evil and resentment. These are not the shadow's eyes. Narrowing his eyes, Chingu looked at his own reflection in the baby's gaze through the gap in the hair. It was a self that he could barely recognize but he was sure that it was a version of himself. I have died for you so many times. It is about time for you to die on my behalf. The blood capillaries erupted, and the shadow's body completely crumbled. The malformed ghost baby crawled out from the chest. As the blood rained down around it, it charged toward Shingu, moving ten times faster than before. The layers of black hair were pulled apart, and even with the shackles binding it, the speed of the ghost baby did not slow down. Its body was gradually worn down, but the image of Chingu in its eyes grew clearer and clearer. The curses morphed into black lines and surged into its eyes, binding tightly around Chingu in his eyes. 
The distance between them was great, but Chen Gu found himself unable to move. He felt like something had immobilized him. How did it do this without any contact? What kind of power is this? A type of curse? The ghost baby drained the shadow dry, and it seemed to be using its own power now. The black lines around the Chen Gu in the eyes started to burn. Black flame seared Chen Gu in its eyes, and the Chen Gu in reality felt the same pain. It was as if millions of ants were crawling all over Chen Gu, inside and outside his skin. They bit on his skin, inch by inch, leaving behind a burning sensation. All the good that you represent will become nutrients for despair. I will await you at the lowest part of the abyss. The baby's lips tore apart. It gazed deeply at Chen Gu. My shadow. Bang. Black hair blocked Chen Ji's view as it wound protectively around him. Black hairs crawled into Chen Ji's body. They consumed the curses little by little. This was the power of gluttony. The ghost baby was using the power of the ghost fetus. Even for a red specter, this kind of curse was hard to stomach, and the ghost baby used it on a living human. He just said that I am his shadow, right? Chen Gu was still unable to control his body, but Zhang Ye was slowly consuming the curse. With a superhuman constitution, Chen Gu did not collapse. Through the gap, he opened the eyes to stare at the ghost baby. Shackles and black hair wound around its body, and the ghost baby stopped three meters away from Chen Gu. Zhang Ye's arm poked through the baby's eyes while Dr. Gao grabbed hold of the baby's heart. Just a little bit more, huh? The spine-chilling voice slipped out from the cracked lips. The ghost baby laughed in the blood rain. The rising and falling of its chest became more violent as its body started to balloon. Xin Ge, I will remember this day. As repayment, I will make you remember every single day in the future. The ghost baby moved its head away. It turned to look towards somewhere in eastern Jiujiang. The bones were stretched open, and this one-time use body expanded once more. Strange, black symbols appeared on the ghost baby's skin, which seemed to be the most initial curse. Be careful! Chen Ji's warning still came a bit too late. The black lines pushed out from inside the body. The black symbol wasted the body away, and the ghost baby's body exploded from the inside. He felt like his eardrums were about to shatter. For a moment after that, everything was quiet, and his mind was blank. All Chen Gu could feel was his body falling backward before plummeting downward. Lastly, he was held in midair by something. When Chen Gu opened his eyes again, he realized that he was hanging outside the ninth floor of the building in a cradle of black hair. Janya? The black hair was still around, but the ones above the tenth floor started to show the symbol of the curse. Was she the one who flung me down? The blood rain had stopped. With the ghost apartment at the center, the echoes of ghostly screams started around them. The commotion that they had created was so huge that it had attracted the attention of all the specters around Li Wan City. These screams do not seem to fear the shadow. Just how scary is the world behind the door? Blood fog covered everything. Even with the Yin Yang vision, Chin Gu could not see these monsters, he could only hear them. The black hair pulled him upward. When Chin Gu returned to the roof, he was shocked by the scene that he saw. When the ghost baby's body exploded, either Zhang Yan nor Dr. Gao retreated. The two greater red specters made the same choice then. They chose to attack the baby in unison. Neither of them put up any defense. Half of the black hair and shackles were ruined, and the worst thing was, the ghost baby's symbols started to surface on Zhang Ye and Dr. Gao's bodies. These symbols swam all through their bodies like fish, and it would take a lot of effort to remove them. They were in a horrible state. Dr. Gao was missing an arm. The curse and negative emotions could no longer be suppressed, and the faces of the innocent were weeping endlessly. Janya's body, which was facing the shadow, was imprinted with the curse, and what made her angry the most was that it appeared like her face had been injured as well. Dr. Gao possessed the special power of suppression and transmutation, while Janya had the power of gluttony. Even though they were both seriously injured, either of them prepared to retreat. They were both holding on, ready for another battle. Why are they so nervous about another battle? Chin Gu looked to the middle of the roof. Dr. Gao's arm, which had been holding the ghost baby's heart earlier, was deposited there. It was almost dissolved by the curse, and the greater part of the arm had disintegrated into black blood, but the ghost baby's heart was nowhere to be seen. 
Was it blown up in the explosion? After looking around, Chinga realized that Dr. Gao's other remaining arm was holding half of a blood-red heart. This heart was only 20% the size of a normal heart, and it was covered in the black pattern. The heart of a red specter was blood-red in color. Even though this heart is small, it has a constitutional difference to a red specter's heart. The feeling I get from those black patterns is very dangerous. Like a few more glances at them will cause bad things to happen to me. Dr. Gao was holding half the heart, and the other half was possessed by Zhang Ya. Both of them wanted what the other was holding. Without any word, Chin Gu silently moved backward. He looked through his backpack and summoned the rest of his employees. Perhaps I can have a logical discussion with Dr. Gao. He is a clear-minded man, so I believe that he will be able to look at the big picture. When the ghost baby's body exploded, Bai Chiolin and the woman in the tunnel had both hidden inside the comic. The curse seemed to only work on living humans and specters. It did not have much of an effect on inanimate objects. Chinga actually wanted to ask if the woman from the tunnel felt comfortable living inside Yadanian's comic, or not, but considering that Zhang Ya was next to him, Chen Gu astutely clamped his mouth shut. The two parties maintained the standstill on the roof. The power scale was kept at a sensitive balance, and a new battle was about to start. After about 10 seconds, a loud explosion came from the direction of Li Wan City. Everyone turned to see a wave of redness crashing toward Ming Yang residents. In the thick red fog, Li Wan City's real owner, Xiao Bu, was rushing toward the ghost apartment with Men Nan and Oel Zhou in tow. Xiao Bu was not a normal red specter. The door in Li Wan City had gotten out of control, and its influence was no longer limited to a single building but had spread to the entire town. As the door pusher, Xiao Bu's power was growing. Exactly how powerful she was, Qin Ge had no clue either, but she was certainly no weaker than the gluttony woman at the hotel. If it was a normal red specter, it would have been fine, but with another greater red specter allying with Qin Ge, the tip of the scale had been upset. As the two chairpersons of the Ghost Stories Society turned to capture Xiao Bu in their sight, they turned to glance at each other, and then they made their move in the same instant. Get moving! I have many things I wish to ask him. As Ching Gu screamed his order, Dr. Gao jumped down from the roof. The shackles pierced into the building, and he dangled downward before disappearing into the blood fog with half of the heart. Dr. Gao had made his escape with such clarity that it surprised Ching Gu. He had no idea how a madman would come to such a clear decision so suddenly. Perhaps a trigger inside his heart had been activated, or at this moment, all the despair in Dr. Gao came to this choice in unison. He left just like that. I still have many things about the door at the haunted house to ask him. Ching Gu did not mind that Dr. Gao had gone insane. He would spend time and effort to help him, but it did appear like Dr. Gao wanted his help. After Dr. Gao left, the black hair on the roof disappeared quickly, and Zhang strode wordlessly to Ching Gu. Her hair blocked half of her face. Just as Ching Gu thought that she was about to say something, Zhang Ya's eyes swept the woman from the tunnel and then reached into the comic to grab the headless woman. Ignoring Yen Danian, who was cowering in the corner of the comic, Zhang Ya slipped a single strand of her hair around the headless woman's wrist. Then she leaned against Chen Ji's back and disappeared into his shadow. Looking at the trail that Zhang Ya had just walked over, there was a long line of black blood. She seemed to be heavily injured. During the previous fight with the Ghost Story Society, before she went into her slumber, Zhang Ya handed me a doll that helped me block a fatal blow. This time, she curled her hair around the headless woman's wrist. Forcing her into submission is probably something to the same effect. Does this mean that Zhang Ya is going into another hibernation? Is it because she is too heavily injured, or does she need time to slowly digest half of the ghost baby's heart? Chen Gu was familiar with Zhang Ya's personality. When her gaze fell on the woman from the tunnel earlier, she had probably been planning to turn her into a doll. However, in her current condition, Janya did not have 100% faith that the transformation would be successful, so she chose the second best option and weaved her warning into the similarly injured headless woman. Dr. Gao's situation is worse than Janya's, but I still need to be careful. They are both the strongest red specters, and now, they possess the heart of the existence stronger than a red specter. If Dr. Gao succeeds one night, he might just appear from behind the door at the haunted house. Currently, 
Dr. Gao was unable to control his negative emotions and curses, but it did not mean that he would not bring them under control after he broke through the limitation and became something stronger than a red specter. Once Dr. Gao regained his sanity, he would be a very formidable enemy. The greatest power combined with the highest intelligence. What should I do? Perhaps I should have Gao Ru Shui move to live with me at the haunted house. Assign her a room next to the toilet? Boss! Oel Zhou arrived to interrupt Chen Ji's murmuring. Sorry for all the trouble. Chen Gu meant that from the bottom of his heart. He wanted to give Oel Zhou a hug, but he phased through the man's body. Then he understood why. I'm glad that all of you are okay. After a brief conversation with Oel Zhou and promising men and that he would send him back to Third Sick Hall to fix his window, he placed them inside the comic. Xiaobu, the shadow has been killed already. You are free now, but you mustn't lower your guard. The shadow's main body, the ghost fetus, is about to be born, and there is a chance that he will return. Chen Ji's hint could not have been clearer. Xiaobu did not give Chen Gu a direct answer. The sound of water dripping came from the staircase. A woman in a red raincoat arrived holding Xiao Bu's remaining limbs and carrying Tong Tong in her arms. She tried to peel a part of her sewn lips open, wanting to say something to Chen Gu. Have you found your child? Chen Gu understood that the woman in the raincoat had entered the ghost apartment to find her child. He had also seen that the building was filled with children whose memory had been sucked out by the shadow. The woman in the red raincoat shook her head. She placed the limbs not far away from Xiaobu and turned to leave. The water from her raincoat slid onto the ground to form this sentence. I will stay here until the day I find him. Then I will find you. I know that you wish to thank me, but how come this promise sounds so creepy in words? Chin Gu did not stop the woman. He had plenty of other things to do at the moment. Comment first rate this chapter vote with Power Stone. Do not read, major spoilers. Bug chapter, released early. Due to a bug in the system, this chapter, chapter 677, was released early. We thought that we had come up with a solution, but unfortunately, that did not work. So, until we catch up to where this chapter should have been released, read on at your own risk. One of Xiao Bu's hands was ingested fully by the shadow, while the other remained with the smiling man. While the big battle was happening, the smiling man had already disappeared probably escaping during the commotion. Xiaobu, now that you have regained most of your body, can you take control of the door? Chen Gu was worried that the door in Liwan City would continue to expand. Xiaobu shook her head, and the blood gathered to form her reply. The door has gone completely out of control. The only thing I can do is to slow down the expansion speed. To have full control over it, I will need to find my entire body. Then, can you open the door to send us out of here? Xiaobu was, at the very least, the door pusher, and Chen Gu believed that she would be able to do something like that. The blood flowed, and a new sentence appeared on the ground. Yes, but I can only keep the door open for one minute per day. The door has been under the shadow's control for too long. I need some time to re-familiarize myself with it. One minute is more than enough. Chen Gu knew that Xiaobu was unable to leave this place with him. Just like Men Nan, she needed to stay behind the door to guard it. Understanding that, Chen Gu did not force Xiaobu to leave with him. Probably because she had seen through Chen Ji's thoughts, the blood on the ground shifted again. You've killed your own shadow, and based on the agreement, I should be your new shadow. I will never forget that. After I gain full control over the door, I will find you. Xiaobu's eyes wandered between Chen Gu and the shadow behind him. It was unclear what she was thinking. Okay. Killing the shadow and then having Xiaobu become Chen Ji's shadow was Chen Ji's parents' plan, but the actual development was far beyond everyone's expectations. Compared to the more easily controlled Xiaobu, Zhang Ya was like another extreme. To make her into his shadow, no one could tell what would happen in the future. Right, there's one more thing that I wish to ask you. Chen Gu was suddenly reminded of the question. The Ghost Story Society hid one-third of its treasures in Li Wan City. Do you know where they might be? Xiaobu shook her head again, and Chen Gu did no press. Be it the Shadow or Dr. Gao, they were both wily old foxes, so they certainly would have found a secret place to hide those things. Dr. Gao's arrival might have something to do with that. 
That man man is extremely scary, and I fear he might return. You stay in Liwan City, and the woman in the red raincoat stays at the ghost apartment. Both of you are my friends, and the friend of my friend is my friend, so if you run into any danger, I hope you two will look out for each other, or you can come to Western Jiujiang's new century park to find me. After dealing with Xiao Bu, Chen Gu started to inspect his remaining employees. When facing off against the shadow, the employees in the backpack had all volunteered their help. Now, everyone was injured, but thankfully, other than Suin, no one else had been infected by the curse. Well, bye. Thank you for your help earlier. Bai Chulin was a gambler who had finally seen the light. He had a heart that burned brighter than the icy exterior that he put on. Facing Qin Ji's words of appreciation, he appeared rather flustered. Thinking back to his life of more than two decades, this was the first time that he had heard a word of thank from other, and actually, it felt nice to be needed by others. I just happened to be around. Bai Chuling pushed his hands into his pocket like speaking one more word would claim his life. No matter what, if not for you this time, every one of us would have been harmed. Suin had blocked the shadow, and Bai Chuling had grabbed Chen Gu and the backpack to escape. They had split up their work nicely, and if there was a problem with any section, the one standing there would either have been the shadow or Dr. Gao. This type of high-intensity battle was beneficial to Bai Chuling. The redness around his heart had started to spread and he could unleash around 30% of Xiong Qing's power. The corner of his shirt and pants started to color with blood stains. Bai Chiolin was steadily heading toward becoming a red specter. Compared to Su Yin, his progress was a lot easier. He possessed Xiong Qing's heart, so he did not need to find a breakthrough. By consuming more baleful specters, eventually, he would turn into a red specter. Actually, after doing some inventory, Chen Ge had gained a lot from this mission. Suin had officially become a red specter, and Bai Chiolin had evolved into a half-red specter. Zhang Ye had consumed the heart of the glutton woman, and she also had in her possession half the heart of something that appeared to be greater than red specter. When she reawakened, she would be even scarier. The power of his employees had improved, and Chen Ge had even gained a new batch of employees. A bunch of lingering spirits and baleful specters with special powers and a red specter who was converted by Zhang Ye the headless woman. The key point was that Chen Ge had gained the friendship of Xiao Bu and the woman in the red raincoat. The haunted house might welcome two new red specters in the future. If I see my haunted house as a mission scenario, then its current level should be around 3 star and 4 star, perhaps closer to 4 star than 3 star. After checking up on his ghost employees, Chen Ge ran to find the living employees. To expand the haunted house, over-reliance on ghosts would not work he needed a few living employees as well. The mixing of living and dead employees would definitely bring the visitors a wonderful experience. Chen Gu found scissors, the drunkard, the doctor, and the unconscious Li Jing on the first floor. Where's Jia Ming? Chen Gu was cautious about that young man who had been possessed by the shadow for multiple years. He certainly knew a lot of the shadow's secrets. When you were fighting, he dragged the police officer and started to run madly down the stairs. We saw how strangely he was acting, so we followed him downstairs. When the shadow summoned back his full strength to nurture the ghost baby, Scissors and the drunkard had regained their freedom, but there were black lines that represented the curse remaining on their bodies. Chen Ge picked up the handcuff around Li Zheng's wrist. Thankfully, he had cuffed himself together with Jia Ming to prevent the latter's escape. Otherwise, with Jia Ming's personality, he would not have dragged Li Zheng to escape unless it was necessary. That man got the key and ran. He sure moves fast. Jia Ming and the student known Bei Yi had escaped. Chen Gu felt like there was a need to detain them because they knew too many things that they should not. He might have thought that way, but of course, Chen Gu would not voice that in front of others. He used his Yin Yang vision to examine them and realized that their condition did not look that good. There were black lines moving in their eyes, it appeared like they were cursed. Scissors and the drunkard's situation was better. They had consumed the blood vessels prepared for red specters at the hotel, and their bodies had undergone some unique changes. Chin Gu could sense that their body temperature had dropped to a lower temperature than normal. The doctor's condition though was less than optimistic. Due to the curse mixed together with the poison that he had drunk earlier, his muscles had started to atrophy. Even though he could still walk, 
it appeared like he had aged at least a decade overnight. In a way, we have survived a tragedy together. You know many things about me, and I know about the secret in your heart. Currently, you guys are cursed, and I can't let you wander about just like that. How about this? You can stay with me for now, and I'll send you back to your home after I help you cure your body of the curse and after you feel better. The responsible Chungu suggested an option for everyone. There's no need for you to take on the responsibility like that. It was our choice to enter Li Wan City. Furthermore, if not for you, we would have died already. You've saved us so many times, and we cannot repay you for what you've done. How could we trouble you anymore? The drunkard had woken up from the alcohol a long time ago. His mind could not have been clearer. If you do not remove the curse, your lives will constantly be in danger. We've been through too many things together, and I cannot stand by, watching you being tormented by the pain and illness. Chingu already collected all of his employees. He patted his backpack. We've been saved multiple times by you, and now you're asking us to occupy your home. It really does not sound right, Sizu said. How about this? If you need any help from us, we will stop at nothing to help you. Do not say no, this is the only thing we can do. Yes, you're going to help us remove the shadow's curse. You're going to save our lives again. The drunkard and the doctor both turned to Chingu. I operate a haunted house, and as you must have noticed by now, I have the most professional of actors in my team. I don't need any more help. Chingu appeared rather troubled. But we cannot just occupy your kindness without doing anything in return. At least give us some job that is within our ability. Since they had already said that, it felt wrong for Chingu to deny their insistence. He could only force himself to accept. Okay, but first things first, you are not going to help me for free. I will provide all of you with the standard payment. After all, you need to look after your family, and you'll need money to survive. This is the only requirement I have. I hope that you won't reject it. Hearing that from Chingu, the few felt a warmth suffusing through their hearts. Their appreciation toward Chen Gu was as sincere as it could be. Boss Chen is such a saint. My house of horrors. Chapter 677, New Employees Do Not Read. Do not read, major spoilers, bug chapter, released early. One of Xiao Bu's hands was ingested fully by the shadow, while the other remained with the smiling man. While the big battle was happening, the smiling man had already disappeared, probably escaping during the commotion. Xiaobu, now that you have regained most of your body, can you take control of the door? Chen Gu was worried that the door in Li Wan City would continue to expand. Xiaobu shook her head, and the blood gathered to form her reply. The door has gone completely out of control. The only thing I can do is to slow down the expansion speed. To have full control over it, I will need to find my entire body. Then, can you open the door to send us out of here? Xiaobu was. At the very least, the door pusher, and Chingu believed that she would be able to do something like that. The blood flowed, and a new sentence appeared on the ground. Yes, but I can only keep the door open for one minute per day. The door has been under the shadow's control for too long. I need some time to re-familiarize myself with it. One minute is more than enough. Chengu knew that Xiaobu was unable to leave this place with him. Just like Men Nan, she needed to stay behind the door to guard it. Understanding that, Chingu did not force Xiaobu to leave with him. Probably because she had seen through Chingji's thoughts, the blood on the ground shifted again. You've killed your own shadow, and based on the agreement, I should be your new shadow. I will never forget that. After I gain full control over the door, I will find you. Xiaobu's eyes wandered between Chingu and the shadow behind him. It was unclear what she was thinking. Okay. Killing the shadow and then having Xiaobu become Chinji's shadow was Chinji's parents' plan, but the actual development was far beyond everyone's expectations. Compared to the more easily controlled Xiaobu, Zhangya was like another extreme. To make her into his shadow, no one could tell what would happen in the future. Right, there's one more thing that I wish to ask you. Chingu was suddenly reminded of the question. The Ghost Story Society hid one-third of its treasures in Li Wan City. Do you know where they might be? Xiaobu shook her head again, and Chingu did no press. Be it the Shadow or Dr. Gao, they were both wily old foxes, 
so they certainly would have found a secret place to hide those things. Dr. Gao's arrival might have something to do with that. That man-man is extremely scary, and I fear he might return. You stay in Li Wan City, and the woman in the red raincoat stays at the ghost apartment. Both of you are my friends, and the friend of my friend is my friend, so if you run into any danger, I hope you two will look out for each other, or you can come to Western Jiujiang's new Century Park to find me. After dealing with Xiao Bu, Chen Gu started to inspect his remaining employees. When facing off against the shadow, the employees in the backpack had all volunteered their help. Now, everyone was injured, but thankfully, other than Su Yin, no one else had been infected by the curse. Well bye, thank you for your help earlier. Bai Chiu Lin was a gambler who had finally seen the light. He had a heart that burned brighter than the icy exterior that he put on. Facing Qin Ji's words of appreciation, he appeared rather flustered. Thinking back to his life of more than two decades, this was the first time that he had heard a word of thank from other, and actually, it felt nice to be needed by others. I just happened to be around. Bai Chiu Lin pushed his hands into his pocket like speaking one more word would claim his life. No matter what, if not for you this time, every one of us would have been harmed. Su Yin had blocked the shadow, and Bai Chiu Lin had grabbed Qin Ge and the backpack to escape. They had split up their work nicely, and if there was a problem with any section, the one standing there would either have been the shadow or Dr. Gao. This type of high-intensity battle was beneficial to Bai Chiu Lin. The redness around his heart had started to spread, and he could unleash around 30% of Xiong Qing's power. The corner of his shirt and pants started to color with blood stains. Bai Chiu Lin was steadily heading toward becoming a red specter. Compared to Su Yin, his progress was a lot easier. He possessed Xiong Qing's heart, so he did not need to find a breakthrough. By consuming more baleful specters, eventually, he would turn into a red specter. Actually, after doing some inventory, Chen Ge had gained a lot from this mission. Su Yin had officially become a red specter, and Bai Chiu Lin had evolved into a half-red specter. Zhang Ye had consumed the heart of the glutton woman, and she also had in her possession half the heart of something that appeared to be greater than red specter. When she reawakened, she would be even scarier. The power of his employees had improved, and Chen Ge had even gained a new batch of employees. A bunch of lingering spirits and baleful specters with special powers and a red specter who was converted by Zhang Ye, the headless woman. The key point was that Chen Ge had gained the friendship of Xiao Bu and the woman in the red raincoat. The haunted house might welcome two new red specters in the future. If I see my haunted house as a mission scenario, then its current level should be around 3 star and 4 star, perhaps closer to 4 star than 3 star. After checking up on his ghost employees, Chen Ge ran to find the living employees. To expand the haunted house, over-reliance on ghosts would not work, he needed a few living employees as well. The mixing of living and dead employees would definitely bring the visitors a wonderful experience. Chen Gu found scissors, the drunkard, the doctor, and the unconscious Li Jing on the first floor. Where's Jia Ming? Chen Gu was cautious about that young man who had been possessed by the shadow for multiple years. He certainly knew a lot of the shadow's secrets. When you were fighting, he dragged the police officer and started to run madly down the stairs. We saw how strangely he was acting so we followed him downstairs. When the shadow summoned back his full strength to nurture the ghost baby, Scissors and the drunkard had regained their freedom, but there were black lines that represented the curse remaining on their bodies. Chen Ge picked up the handcuff around Li Zheng's wrist. Thankfully, he had cuffed himself together with Jia Ming to prevent the latter's escape. Otherwise, with Jia Ming's personality, he would not have dragged Li Zheng to escape unless it was necessary. That man got the key and ran. He sure moves fast. Jia Ming and the student known Bei Yi had escaped. Qin Gu felt like there was a need to detain them because they knew too many things that they should not. He might have thought that way, but of course, Qin Gu would not voice that in front of others. He used his yin yang vision to examine them and realized that their condition did not look that good. There were black lines moving in their eyes, it appeared like they were cursed. Scissors and the drunkard's situation was better. They had consumed the blood vessels prepared for red specters at the hotel, and their bodies had undergone some unique changes. Chin Gu could sense that their body temperature had dropped to a lower temperature than normal. The doctor's condition though was less than optimistic. 
Due to the curse mixed together with the poison that he had drunk earlier, his muscles had started to atrophy. Even though he could still walk, it appeared like he had aged at least a decade overnight. In a way, we have survived a tragedy together. You know many things about me, and I know about the secret in your heart. Currently, you guys are cursed, and I can't let you wander about just like that. How about this? You can stay with me for now, and I'll send you back to your home after I help you cure your body of the curse and after you feel better. The responsible Chungu suggested an option for everyone. There's no need for you to take on the responsibility like that. It was our choice to enter Li Wan City. Furthermore, if not for you, we would have died already. You've saved us so many times, and we cannot repay you for what you've done. How could we trouble you anymore? The drunkard had woken up from the alcohol a long time ago. His mind could not have been clearer. If you do not remove the curse, your lives will constantly be in danger. We've been through too many things together, and I cannot stand by watching you being tormented by the pain and illness. Chingu already collected all of his employees. He patted his backpack. We've been saved multiple times by you, and now you're asking us to occupy your home. It really does not sound right. Scissor said. How about this? If you need any help from us, we will stop at nothing to help you. Do not say no, this is the only thing we can do. Yes, you're going to help us remove the shadow's curse. You're going to save our lives again. The drunkard and the doctor both turned to Chingu. I operate a haunted house, and as you must have noticed by now, I have the most professional of actors in my team. I don't need any more help. Chingu appeared rather troubled. But we cannot just occupy your kindness without doing anything in return. At least give us some job that is within our ability. Since they had already said that, it felt wrong for Chingu to deny their insistence. He could only force himself to accept. Okay, but first things first, you are not going to help me for free. I will provide all of you with the standard payment. After all, you need to look after your family, and you'll need money to survive. This is the only requirement I have. I hope that you won't reject it. Hearing that from Chingu, the few felt a warmth suffusing through their hearts. Their appreciation toward Chengu was as sincere as it could be. Boss Chin is such a saint! My House of Horrors Chapter 678 Little Boy My haunted house in Jiujiang is quite reputable. Search for it online if you don't believe me. It is the best place to work if you're in the theme park business. When we return, I'll give you the necessary training, and I hope that you'll eventually fall in love with this career. After the ghost employees, Chingu also gained three living employees. Unlike Xiao Gu and Su Wan, these three knew about what had happened in Li Wan City so their way of thinking was different from normal, and Chingu would not worry about letting them help him handle the underground scenario. This world is not as simple as it looks. The reason I did not want the rest of you to help me earlier is because my haunted house is a resting place for some homeless spirits, so... We understand. The few understood Chinji's concern. After witnessing the strange phenomenon at Liwan City, they could understand Chinji's issue fully. That would be perfect. Chingu decided to arrange them to oversee the underground scenarios and deal with emergencies. As the haunted house continued to expand, the underground scenario would only get bigger, and so would the number of visitors that they would receive. Chingu could not handle all that alone. After the sun rises, you should rest for a while and go report your safety to your family. Chingu said that and turned to look at Scissors and the doctor. One of you came to find your elder brother, and the other came to find your wife. Afterward, I'll lead you on a search around Li Wan City. Hopefully, we can find them. Hearing that Chingu wanted to help them find their family, Scissors nodded heavily in appreciation, and even the doctor's expression softened in that moment like a huge boulder had been eased from his heart. Thank you? It's what I should do. Scissors and the doctor did not have any family left, but it was different for the drunkard. It was a pure accident that he had gotten the last bus on Route 104. From a certain perspective, he was no different from a normal individual. My house is in Xi'an High City. After the curse on me is somewhat under control, I wish to go home. The drunkard scratched his head. I might not look like it, but I come from quite a wealthy family. However, after my mother passed away, the relationship between me and my father has turned a bit icy, so I've been living alone in Jiujiang all these years. 
After what happened tonight, I think I've understood something. Life is too strong for regret. I think I want to go home to have a chat with my father. Wait, you're a rich young master? Scissors and Shingu really did not expect such a background from the drunkard. Don't you think it's quite rude to call people that right before their face? The drunkard held his forehead. He could already see how interesting his future would be. We should start this over. My name is Zhang Jingjiu. As you can see, I'm not that good with liquor, but for some reason, my clients like to call me wine bibber. I dabbled in real estate and white wine sales. I do have a name given to me by the orphanage, but I do not like it that much, so you should just call me Scissors. Both Scissors and Drunkard made simple introductions. When it was the doctor's turn, he shook his head like he had something that he was not yet ready to share. Chingu did not dwell on this for too long. They followed Xiaobu back to Liwan City to meet up with Fan Chong. Boss Chin. Fan Chong was overjoyed when he saw Chingu, but underneath that happiness was a worry. He had no idea what had happened to his brother, Fan Dade. Your brother will be fine, I'm sure of it. After consoling Fan Chong, Chingu led his employees around Liwan City. With the ostensible reason of helping Scissors and the doctor find their families, Chingu searched the entire small town. He did not find anything left behind by the Ghost Stories Society. The specters that lived in the buildings had all escaped silently after the shadow left. After a long search, either Scissors nor the doctor's relatives were found, and they appeared rather low-spirited. Since the shadow has been dealt with, we'll keep returning to this place. Eventually, we'll run into them. Chingu did not know whether it was right for him to say that or not, but he felt like, to be alive, one had to be have hope so he figured that it was all right. It's time to leave. We've been being the door for far too long already. It's time to go out. The mission in Liwan City had provided Chen Gu with a lot of information. Other than unlocking the scenario and increasing his number of employees, he knew some information about the four-star mission, Ghost Fetus. The Ghost Fetus that grew inside the Shadow's chest was probably how the Ghost Fetus would look at birth, and Chen Gu had memorized its face in his brain. The few returned to Fan Chang's residential area. Chen Gu had Xiao Bu be prepared to open the door. He then placed the fainted Li Jing in the adjacent room. He started comparing notes with scissors and the rest before they dealt with the questioning from the police. In terms of that, Chen Gu was truly a master. Inside an old building on the eastern side of Liwan City, a family of three was forced into a corner. The panicked-looking man was about 40. He was squeezed next to a woman with no expression, and a boy stood next to them. The shadow is already dead. What are we still doing here? If you're that interested in them, just kill them, or you wish to continue the game of hide and seek? Beiyi squatted on the ground while holding a knife. A thin young man stood next to him. I will repeat myself, I am different from you. Jiang Ming held the boy's face and studied it closely. Yes, it is him. What are you talking about? Beiyi walked over and that scared the boy for quite a bit. When the shadow was possessing my body, he did many crazy things, and because of that, I knew quite a bit about the shadow's secret. He once tried to place part of his body inside the mother core and used that to try and determine the maximum threshold of curses and resentment a living human could contain. In my memory, he succeeded twice. The one time led to the creation of the ghost fetus, and the other time created a little monster. Jia Ming's eyes that looked at the boy and the unfeeling woman were creepy. You're saying that this boy is part of the ghost fetus? Bei Yi had no idea what Jia Ming was up to. The only reason he had agreed with work with Jia Ming was because the latter knew many of the shadow's secrets. After the successful trial, the shadow pulled back the curse and resentment. But even so, there must be some remnants inside the boy. He possesses the curse with the same origin as the ghost fetus. Thus, he should be able to sense the fetus location. Just because of that, we have reason to bring him with us. Are you sure? This boy looks a bit too normal. This is the best disguise. If not for his mother, I really wouldn't have recognized him. Jiang Ming picked up the man and told his parents, It is because of this boy that we're not going to kill you, but I hope you'll listen to our orders and help us to train this boy, to make him understand how to control the resentment and curse inside him. No problem, the man promised quickly. He lowered his head, and venom coursed through his eyes. Let's go then. 
I know the location of the other door in eastern Jiujian. We can leave from there. After saying that, Jia Ming led them into the blood fog. My House of Horrors Chapter 679 Mayor's Will After comparing their testimonies and making sure there were no issues, Chen Gu gathered all the living humans together. Xiao Bu, you can open the door now. Other than her two arms, Xiao Bu had found most of her body. She stood before the door, and various bad memories rose in her mind. The blood fog around Li Wan city pulsed, and it surged into the basement. Entral-like objects crawled out from the blood-red ground and poked themselves into the half-open door. About ten seconds later, the old and broken door seemed to recover on its own, and only two empty corners remained. Be ready, we only have one minute. If we fail to escape, then we'll have to wait another day. The thick fog disappeared once it touched the door, but the two missing corners were sealing up at an observable speed. The blood fog changed into blood vessels, and like needle and thread, they sealed up the opening. When the two missing corners were blocked, the whole door turned red, and it was slowly pushed open. It was clear that opening a door that had gone out of control had taken a great deal out of Xiaobu, so Chim Ge and the rest focused their attention. The blood red door was connected to the ground, and the blood vessels on the door seemed to come alive. Strange noises came from the buildings around them, and in that condition, the door was completely open. Quick! The drunkard was the first out, carrying Li Jing on his back. Then came the doctor, Fan Chong, and scissors. Carrying two bags, Chen Gu was at the back. When he left, he turned to look at Xiao Bu. If you run into anything you can't handle, remember to come and find me. I'm at Western Jiujiang's new century park. Taking a step out the door was like plunging into the deep ocean. There was a temporary distorted sense of gravity, and the eyes needed a few minutes to adjust to the new sight. When Chinguri opened his eyes, the door behind him was already shut, and the group of people was squeezed inside an abandoned basement. Hey! Wake up! Escaping from the nightmare world, the group felt as if they had been given a new lease on life. For normal people, it was indeed an exciting night. You are not to tell anyone about what you saw on the other side of the door, and all of you remember how to answer the police's questions, right? Yes, don't worry about that. They crawled out from Jiang Long's basement and came to the bathroom. The glass that Cheng Ge had shattered the last time that he was there had not been fixed. The residential management had merely hung a wooden plaque on the wall. I'll go to the police station in a bit. You guys should return home. If everything is successful, we will meet up tomorrow afternoon at the entrance to the haunted house at New Century Park. Chin Gu took Li Jing from the drunkard. This police officer had saved his life, and now, he was in trouble. Chin Gu was not going to leave him behind. Please wait a moment, Fan Chong said with some embarrassment. Boss Chin, can I go with you? One, I'm worried about my brother, and two, I really don't dare go home now. What if there's a murderer waiting for me at home or something crawls out from underneath the bed again? The incident that night had left a deep scar on Fan Chong. He would probably think twice about approaching a video game now. Okay, then you can tag along for now. If you cannot find a job, feel free to come help me at the haunted house. He had worked together with Fan Chong before. There was nothing too special about this fat geek, but he had a kind heart. After a long night, the heavy rain had stopped but the dark clouds still hung in the sky, and a light drizzle was trickling down. We can use our phones now. It is currently 5.30 a.m., and we will gather at 12 noon. Best find the time to rest now. Chin Gu said and walked deeper into Li Wan city with Li Jing on his back. Boss Chin, why are you going back to the city? Is there anything we can help with? Scissors was passionate. He seemed to see traces of his elder brother in Chin Gu and that was a sincerity that was rare nowadays. I'm going to check to see if the bus is still there or not. It's too hard to find a taxi in Liwan City. I feel like it's best for us to just drive the bus away. Chin Gu suggested casually like this was something that happened every day. You want to drive the haunted bus away with you. It made some sense on a certain level, but something just did not feel right about it. Not using it would be a waste. The shadow used it to entrap us, but now that the shadow is dead, we should inherit its things. Chin Gu said in a sincere tone. There's not absolute morality to object. It mainly depends on who is using it. 
As long as one possesses a kind heart, everything will be fine. But won't we be stopped by the police if we take the bus on the road? The doctor asked a logical question. That's why we need to move before the sun comes up. When they spoke, Chingu already reached the location where the hearse had last been located. But to his surprise, the hearse was missing. Is it because I drove the vehicle into the world behind the door? Is the hearse abandoned behind the door? Chingu did not get it. In his mind, the blood door's influence only acted on humans and ghosts. It should never affect inanimate objects. Is this something to do with the hearse itself? Or is my understanding of the world behind the door still lacking? Chingu made the decision to try to get the hearse back the next time that the door was open. Seeing that the hearse had disappeared, both the drunkard and the doctor sighed in relief. At least they would not need to ride on a haunted vehicle back home. They walked down the street for a very long time before they spotted a taxi. After the driver stopped, he finally noticed that they were carrying a fainted police officer, and his soul almost escaped from his body from the scare. Sir, there's quite a few of us, do you mind if we squeeze in the back? Of course not, of course not. Where are you going? Drive them home first, and drop me off at the city police station. Of course, of course. Perhaps it was fear or something else, but the driver drove so fast. After dropping the other passengers home, it was already daylight. Fan Chong, who was seated in the front was asleep, Li Jing was still unconscious, and other than the driver, Chen Gu was the only one awake. He looked out the scenery flying past the window and took out the black phone. He clicked open the message. Congratulations, Spectres favored, for completing the 3.5 star trial mission, Li Wan City. Mission completion rate 94%. Obtained the hidden reward, the mayor's will. Li Wan City is a town held in the palm of a devil. Only one who is crueler than cold-blooded murderers and scarier than despairing specters, the most cunning, despicable individual, will obtain this reward. The mayor's will, congratulations for becoming the new owner of the town. After the haunted house breaks through the stage of maze of terror and reaches a new height, you will receive a chance to open a branch with Li Wan City as the background. The actual details will be given after the official unlock is available. Chen Gu was stunned when he saw the message. I've already dug up three feet under Li Wan City, but the completion rate is still not 100%. Anyhow, this reward is quite interesting. After another two expansions, the haunted house would reach a new level, and it was then that Chen Gu could use the mayor's will and open a branch in another city. This is somewhat of a safety net, but for now I should focus on the haunted house at New Century Park. After I've found my parents and everything settles down, the other plan can come. Chingu slid down the screen and clicked open the other messages. My House of Horrors Chapter 680 Opening a 3.5 Star Scenario Congratulations, Spectres favored, for completing the 3.5 Star Trial Mission. An all-new scenario, Liwan City, has been unlocked. Liwan City 3.5 Star Scenario This scenario comprises of Liwan Residential Area, Liwan Private Hospital, The Junction, Smiling Dog, the elevator going to the second floor basement, midnight hotel, and so on. Since this scenario is immensely large, please choose carefully whether to unlock it to the public. Congratulations, Spectres favored! You've successfully rescued four innocent individuals and thus obtained the additional reward, Jack the Ripper Apparel. He is the world's most famous serial killers. Nothing is known about him. He never leaves any evidence of his crime other than the dead bodies. Not even his race or gender have ever been determined. Jack the Ripper Apparel, Coat of Fog. This coat can shield your face, your body shape, and all the crimes that you have committed. Jack the Ripper Apparel, Black Envelope. Jack once stored his victim's organs in an envelope and mailed it to the local paper's office. Jack the Ripper Apparel, Lucky Scissors. These bloodied scissors have nothing to do with good fortune, but that is simply how they are named. Jack the Ripper Apparel Special Effect. Surgical transplant. On the night of heavy fog, the apparel set effect will be activated. Perfect transplant requires deep experience in surgery. But if you're successful, you'll inherit the transplanted talent. Seeing that the black phone showed that he had saved four innocent victims, Chen Gu sighed in relief because that perfectly matched the four that he had saved. After ensuring that they were all innocent, 
Chin Gu could let them work at the haunted house without worry. Counting the apparel for Dr. Skullcracker and the headless nurse, this Jack of Ripper outfit is my third apparel set. Studying the hammer in his backpack, Chin Gu knew very sure that these sets were not as simple as they seemed. The biggest difference between them and the costumes at the haunted house was that they were probably the real deal. Lucky scissors. After I'm done inspecting them, I can lend them to scissors first. He should appreciate this character. Putting the black phone away, Chin Gu had a satisfied smile on his face. Other than the reward provided by the black phone, he had earned quite a lot from Li Wan City. Yen Danian's comic was full, and the old employees were now going into overtime to train the newcomers. With so many lingering spirits and baleful specters, it should be enough to fill up an entire scenario. Chin Gu started to mesh the crazed games that the hotel boss showed him with his own haunted house. He was so lost in thought that he did not realize that they had arrived at the station. Once Chin Gu got out of the taxi, he attracted the guard's attention. When he saw Chin Gu carrying the fainted Li Jing out from the taxi, he ran over immediately. Inspector Li. He's fine, he's only fainted. He's fainted, and you're calling that fine. Why didn't you send him directly to the hospital? The guard demanded loudly, and that spooked the citizens who were in the station making their report. Hearing that, the officers on the duty inside the station rushed out as well. The question from the guard stumped Shingu. He knew what had happened, so he understood that the treatment at the hospital would not be of much help. Therefore, he had brought the officer straight to the station. After all, he had been here a lot and out of habit told the driver to drop him at the police station. This was an order given to me by Inspector Lee before he fainted. Other than Captain Yen, he doesn't trust anyone, and he requested me to personally deliver him to Captain Yen. Chin Gu carried Li Jing and refused to let anyone else touch him. Okay, but you have to take him to the hospital first. In fact, I'll go with you, and we'll contact Captain Yen on the way. With the arrangement from the station, Li Jing and Chin Gu were rushed to the People's Hospital. This was another location that Chin Gu was familiar with. Li Jing was sent into the emergency room for a body check while Chin Gu stayed in the corridor to wait. About half an hour later, Captain Yen arrived. This kind and approachable officer looked quite worse for wear. Captain Yen, Inspector Li is in there. He's still unconscious. Chin Gu and Fan Chong stood up together. What happened last night? Where did you find Li Jing? Captain Yen seemed to have been up for the whole night, and he did not look so good. We found Inspector Li in Li Wan City. He was pursuing the escaped convict Jia Ming alone. Chin Gu knew the theory of accidents coming from the mouth, so he only gave Captain Yen a brief summary of the events. This is strange, why would Li Jing operate on his own? In fact, we even lost contact with him at some point. I cannot believe that an inspector with decades of experience would do something as rash as that. From Captain Yan's expression, it was clear that compared to capturing Jia Ming, he was more worried about Li Jing. It's probably because of the suspect, he doesn't appear like a normal person. Chin Gu stared at the stainless steel glass next to him. The expression on Captain Yan's face shifted slightly. He knew more than he was telling, and Chin Gu saw that clearly through the reflection on the glass. In any case, leave this me. You two should go and give your statements. Okay. In Liwan City, Chen Gu had heard from Li Jing that Captain Yen came from some background, and the brief exchange that they had earlier confirmed that even further. However, Captain Yen had always been on Chen Ji's side and seemed to admire the young man quite a bit. He had helped Chen Gu multiple times, so the latter did not think too much of it. During the written interview, Fan Chong heard about his elder brother from the police officer. The previous night, when it was still raining, Fan Dade had gotten into a car accident on his way home. He had suffered light wounds, but the one who ran into him died on the spot. The whole thing felt like it had been orchestrated by a third party. Knowing that his brother was safe, Fan Chong sighed in relief. After the interview, he went to visit his brother. The police officer confirmed that everything was okay with Chenggu, so he also departed for New Century Park. Thankfully, he managed to reach theme park before it opened for business. Boss, where were you last night? Xiao Gu and Su Wan had been waiting at the door. How come you always show up last when you're the one who lives here? 
I woke up early in the morning and went for a stroll at the Human Resource Department and interviewed a few new employees. They should be arriving in the afternoon. Shinga pushed open the gate. Now is not the time to dawdle. Get into the dressing room and prepare for work. This period before the futuristic theme park opened was the last rush for Chinji's haunted house. It was the calm before the storm. Theme park opened at 9 a.m., and the visitors rushed in. Instantly, a long queue materialized in front of the haunted house, and a large crowd bustled at the resting hall. They obviously treated Chinji's place of business as their base. Most of the employees in his backpack were injured, and they were recovering, so Chinge had to do many things alone. However, he was a single man, he could not split himself apart. With that issue, the difficulty for part of the scenarios had lowered. As the number of people clearing the scenario increased, the visitors were whipped into a hype, and they gloated that they were close to owning the haunted house, to use the online gaming vernacular. Witnessing the liveliness formed the visitors, Chinge felt joy on their behalf. The more visitors that clear the three-star scenario, the greater the number of people who can challenge the 3.5-star scenario. Looks like I'll have to finish building Li Wan City as soon as possible. Please subscribe to A7 English Podcasts and enjoy listening every day with us. Thank you.